Hello, student. Welcome to my channel, Engineering Minutes. We are continuing our series on the Python Pandas library. This is the second session. In today's session, we will learn about the columns, how to print the multiple columns, single columns, basically the operations which we can perform on the columns. So this was our data frame. How we can see that DF and simply shift plus enter. So it will print our database. If we want to print only the columns, basically the names of the columns which are there in our data frame. So for that, what we will use, we will simply give this syntax df, that is the name of our data frame, dot columns. And when we press shift plus enter, it will show us the name of the all the columns which are present in the data frame. So here it gives the output as position, level and salary. So you can see that these are three RR column names in the data frame and D type here. D type means the data type of our data frame. So it's an object. After that, if you want to see or if you want to check the type of any column or the type of your column means which type of data is there. So you can simply type this command by type in the round brackets, you can give DF and in this parenthesis within the single quotes salary. So to check the type of any column, we use this function called type. So when we press shift plus enter, you can see that it is a data type of series. Now we come to if we want to print some specific column. So how we will do that? We can have the syntax like df, that's our data frame. And in the parenthesis between the single quotes, we give the name of that column. So we have three columns, name, position, level, and salary. And we want to print only the position column. So what we will do, we'll simply give the syntax. And when we press enter, it will only print the position column, the values in the position column and its index. You can also use this syntax to simply print this. That is GF dot position. If you want to print only the specific or single column. Now we can take one more example. Suppose you want to print only the salary column. We will give this command. And after that, it will give the output as this only the salaries with the index number. And here the D type is int 64. These were the syntax for the single column, but it, what syntax we will use if we want to print the multiple columns. For that, we will use to print the multiple columns. We will give the same DF, that's our data frame. And between the double parenthesis, the position, that's our first column name and the second column name salary. So you can give the multiple column names that you want to print by using just a single comma between them. And after that, when you will run the cell, it will print only the position and the salary column. So these are the basic operations to print the single column or multiple columns. But uh, now we will see that how to perform some of the functions uh, on that columns. Suppose you want to print only the maximum salary. So that's a salary column with the name column name salary. So what we will do, we will give df and the name of that column dot the function which we want to apply. We want for maximum salary or for ma to find the maximum number between this column, we will use the max function by simply dot max and the parenthesis. And when we will run this command, it will give you the maximum salary of this co whole column salary column. The second uh, type uh, syntax you can use for it is df dot salary without the parenthesis dot max. This will also print the same function. Next is in the similar way, if you want to print the minimum salary between the salary column, the same syntax will be there. Instead of the max function, you can give the min function. Now next, if you want to print the average salary or the means salary of the whole salary column, 
you will give the same syntax and instead of uh, now the function we will use mean function and when you will run this it will give the mean of the salary column in the same way you can print the standard deviation that is gf salary dot std and parenthesis this will give the standard deviation so these were the function to print maximum minimum mean and standard deviation suppose you want to get the data a uh, whole data means mean standard count with by using this same your single function you can use that describe function to print the statistics of the data frame so how we can print simply df that's our data frame dot describe and when you will run this now if you want to print the whole statistics of our data frame we will use the function that is describe so what will be the syntax df dot describe and when we run this function it will give these values it will work on the integer values so the level and the salary columns have the integer values so this is the count of the total level and the salary columns this is the mean of the level and this is the mean for the whole salary column these are the standard deviations it's the minimum value in the level column and in the salary column this is the 25% this 50% 75% and this is the maximum value in the level and the salary column so if you want to get the mean standard deviation or all these things in one go you can use this describe function so today what we have learned we have learned about the columns and how to print the single columns or multiple columns by using this syntax after that we have worked on some of the functions that we can perform on the columns to select these columns like to print the maximum value minimum value to print the mean or the average of any column and to print the standard deviation and on the whole if we want to print the statistics of the whole data frame we will use the describe function in the next video we will learn about how to select the columns and rows by applying the different different conditions thank you till then do like share and subscribe to my youtube channel that is engineering minutes thank you